Yeah. Um, you mentioned the presentations. Yeah. How did that come about and how did you decide what to present about? Pictures, pictures, and more pictures. Oh, oh, and I did some fireside. Oh God, if you find them, you could go out and find them. They're pretty funny. Um, some fireside chats. That's what I call them. Ooh. On I'm video, intrigued. which I'm intrigued. Like, even this is hard for me because I'm, I'm just not an extroverted person, but that was really hard. But and I broke it up into little tidbits and I sent those out. So the presentation I have now is really almost an amalgamation of those. And it was um, educating realtors on things like when you approach a house and you the roof looks like this and here's a picture of you know a roof that's just clearly end of life i'm like that is a roof that's going to need to be replaced and if you're putting in a brand new client who's like it's their first home and they're stretched to the max like what i found really frustrating sometimes is we get blamed for someone walking away from a house saying oh you you know you tore this house down yeah. or whatever and yeah. it's like well, no actually my first loyalty is to the house i'm just right. i'm just reporting what i see on the house um so you know when they kind of blame you for that i'm like why are you putting somebody into a house that is you know a furnace that's as tall as you a roof that's clearly end of life right like it needs a ton of work and then you go and tell them oh yeah you need a new furnace and a new roof and you've killed the deal and i'm like well i, I didn't kill the deal right. you killed the deal because you tried to sell them a house they couldn't afford right so <laughs> it's kind of putting that into perspective um so it's giving them that information what does a furnace that's at end of life look like you don't need to have all of the knowledge that we have but i'm like hey if it's as tall as you it's done <laughs> <laughs> There's a good rule of thumb. Um, you know, if the roof looks like this, we talk a bit about poly. Uh, do you guys have polybutylene plumbing in the states? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, you know, that's an insurance problem up here. How to tell the difference between the different fittings, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I just go through kind of some of the basic stuff that they can learn, so they look really smart to their clients. That's the that's what you want when they're showing a house to the client. You want them to look have knowledge about what they're selling them, right? Do they respond pretty well to that? Or did it, you, yeah. know, you get inquisitive nods of like, oh, she just taught me something. Um, yeah, I think on, I think that happened you know, in person for sure that happened on Zoom. I couldn't see anybody. So I yeah, think. they're probably, yeah, playing on their phones maybe, but. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's helpful. You can be really straight up honest with them. Um, in that environment, because you don't have a client standing right there where you have to, you know, say things carefully. Right. Yeah. So, and I think it's good. I, to me, knowledge is power. And the more knowledgeable the realtor population is on what we do, the better. And, you know, it's funny because um, if you think about it, and up here in Canada, the legal part gets drilled into us, and yet we're in our minds, we're not as litigious as they're in the States, but so it probably really gets drilled into your minds too down there. Oh, yeah. But, um, you know, if somebody has a bad experience with a house, the listing agent, the seller, the buyer's agent, and the home inspector, that's who gets sued. And to me, um, you know, we should all be working together to make sure that doesn't happen to anybody. So if the home inspector does their job properly, you know, that's not going to happen. Yeah, that's such a, such a great mindset towards it. Hi everyone, this is Louis from Spectora. I'm gonna put three links down in the description below. The first link is for you if you like Spectora, but maybe you just have a couple questions. You can schedule a 15 minute discovery call with someone from our client success team to make sure that Spectora is a great fit for you. It is, by the way. If you're ready to dive in and start using the app, the second link is for our free trial. With the average cost of a home inspection, that's a couple thousand dollars that you'll pocket before you pay us a dime. And the third link is for our Spectora Jumpstart program. If you're a brand new home inspector, you probably need a website, or maybe you have a website that you just kind of threw up real quick and you're not super thrilled with it. In the Jumpstart program, we'll make you a great website based on feedback from you to make sure that it reflects your business, your market, and you. We'll optimize it for search engines and we'll put an online scheduler on your website too so you can spend less time on the phone and more time out in the field working. We'll also bundle it with a full year of the Spector app and we'll do it at a great price too. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you check out other videos on this channel and take care.